everybody and welcome to this week's Power and Pump. And currently I'm in the snow and I'm going down here. Hello and welcome to a new PMP series. I don't know whether you can already hear it in my voice, but I'm a little sick this week. I just have a cold and my my throat is just completely sore and dry and just doesn't feel well. Um, just to give you an update about the week, I've lost about half a kilogram, so about a pound, which is perfect. That's what I'm aiming for each week. I dropped my macros a little bit anyways, which I'll show you here. Um, I dropped the fats and the carbs a little bit um, just because my metabolism is really adaptable so I really need to change it a lot because it adapts to my macros really fast and then just stops doing anything and because I'm sick I'll probably also work out a little bit less than usual this week so that's fine here. As I already told you I'm a bit sick so that's why there's no physique update this week because I don't really feel like running around in my living room in a bikini. I'd rather sit on the couch and drink some tea and edit videos. So this week's topics is about the training programs that Lucy and I are doing. Um, as we told you, we both started with the cube method and I'm still doing that. So I'm going to give you a little intro on what that looks like for a whole week. So in general, the cube method has four lifting days. A deadlift day, a bench press day, a squat day, and then a bodybuilding day. And the first three days can either be heavy, they can be a repetition day, or it's a speed day, so an explosive day concentrating on speed. Each of the days starts with the main lift, two variants of it, and then some accessory work and ab work. Here I'm starting with a deadlift day, and I do my deadlifts first. And as I already told you, I switched to Zumo deadlifts. And then afterwards, I do some block pulls. And then I do them Sumo as well. And then the third variant are deficit pulls. So you stand on some weights and pull the bar. But those I do conventional, because it's just inconvenient to do them Sumo style. I then switch to the accessory work, which is usually in the range of 10 to 20 repetitions. And I always do the leg press, just because I really like it as an accessory work. I then do some form of lunge, and I don't always do the same one, I just do whatever I feel like. And then I do machine leg curls, and I prefer to do them kneeling compared to uh, lying on the machine, just because I feel it more in my hamstrings. And then I do some ab work, and here I'm doing planks. So, day two, which is the bench press day. And it starts with the flat bench press. What else could it be? And then there are two other press variations. The first one being a close grip bench press, where your hands are just closer together on the bar. And then the second variation is the spoto press, which is a pause bench press, but instead of pausing on your chest, you pause about a centimeter above your chest which just keeps the tension in the muscles and makes it a little bit harder. My first accessory exercise after the bench press is the pull-up. And I can't do 10 to 20 repetitions here, but I just do as many as I can and hope it will get more as time goes on. I then go over to the lat pull-down as that trains similar muscles as the pull-up, but I can just manipulate the weight here and get more reps in. And I usually also do a shoulder exercise, usually with dumbbells, but I just forgot to film that here. And then, as always, I finish with an app exercise, and here those are just crunches on a decline bench with a weight plate. Coming to day three, which is the squat day, and currently my favorite day, because I need to work on my squats the most, but I can also make the most progress here. And I just start with back squats, followed by front squats, which are usually a little bit lighter than the back squats. And then I go back to back squats again, but do pause squats here. So I just pause 
at the bottom of the squat before I go back up. My accessory exercises for the squat day are again a leg press and I either do the same as for the deadlift and put my feet closer together or I do a different leg press like here where I can work one leg at a time. I then do another lunge version and again I do just what I feel like. These ones here are walking lunges with dumbbells and I finish it with some leg extensions in the end. And the last day of the cube method is the bodybuilding day and I swear that this is a different day although I'm nearly wearing the same outfit as on my squat day. I just seem to love that outfit. On my bodybuilding day I always start with military presses as I haven't done those in the other days and I find it's really important. And then I do some back exercises and some arm exercises but I vary that every week whatever I feel like doing. For my back exercises I usually start with a rowing exercise and this week I did a T-bar row where my chest is lying on the machine. In my second back exercise I try to focus on my lats and this week I did a straight arm push down on the cable machine because I really feel those in my lats. And then I go over to a biceps and a triceps exercise and I try to differ between dumbbell and barbell exercises just to get all the movement and all the angles in. And this week I did barbell curls with a Z bar and my triceps exercise with, with a dumbbell then and I just did push-ups with one dumbbell here standing. And as always I finished my day with an ab exercise and here I'm doing weighted crunches on a cable machine and I usually really feel my abs burn after this exercise. Lucy? Yes? What's up with you, babe? I've got a little confession. What? I've got a little confession to make. I stopped doing the cube method. Although I said I was gonna to continue. So what are you doing now? Stop. Daily. Something. serious um <laughs> i have stopped doing the cube method um we started with different goals and different ambitions and uh the cube method just was a little bit too much for me uh, i didn't focus as much as the compound lifts as much as i wanted to and it had a lot of accessory work with yeah took up a lot of time and i don't mind the, the time it took but i just don't like uh, all the accessory work So, DUP. Uh, DUP stands for Daily Unbalanced Periodization. Uh, basically, it stands for that you train about daily, you train in different in intensities, and you have just the time to recover, and also your volume uh, and your weight levels differ through the week. So, you get the most volume and uh, just enough recovery so you can progress as quickly as possible. It's a program for more advanced lifters, but uh, we made an episode about that and you can check that out too. The key of DUP is maximizing volume without uh, interrupting with the recovery. That's where the U and the P stand for, unbalancing and periodization. Um, you can make this into your own program and uh, for me, I took the basics of squatting, benching, and deadlifting and split them and two the main lifts in a day. A lot of people have the three lifts in a day and then you can go with three or four workout days. Because I love to do five workouts, I took um, three days of squatting, three days of benching, and three, no, four days of benching and the other three of deadlifting too. Let me just grab my little workout bible where I created my program. I put the, the program this way that you have the three main lifts, the squat, the deadlifts and the bench. And I do all of them three times a week, but then you get an uneven number. So I bench another time and there I just go for 
uh, more heavy and with paws to focus on the paws when I'm gonna do my co uh, my competition. So the difference in all the sessions, like for example the squatting, I have one hypertrophy day, I have one power day, and I have one strength day. Hypertrophy day is where I uh, let me take a look. It's all just new for me. But in my uh, hypertrophy day of squatting, I do four sets of eight reps. And in the, where's the next? The power, I do six sets of three reps. And in, uh, I focus on explosive moves and just going up as quick as I can. And then the last squat day is five times five. And there the load is the heaviest. Uh, the same is for deadlifts and the same is for bench, except that, I, like I said, I have one more bench day. And there I go for 6x2 with the heaviest weight and I go one, uh, for a, one set for a maximum reps. Just finished my first week <laughs> and I've said this before but I love it and I'm gonna stick to it. And I uh, know just time will tell but uh, I always have loved the main lifts like spawning, benching, deadlifting and uh, this just focus on that and I do accessory work depending on what day it is and how I feel and that just works for me because if I have enough time I can do more and when I'm hasty, when I'm in a lot of hurry I just do some like uh, small accessory work. Usually I do two or three accessories and there I go for three sets of 12 reps, a little low uh, weight but building up some size which can also help your strength um, so that's why I choose that and really love it so far and I'll keep you updated I have nothing more to tell bye bye and that's a wrap for this week's video really hope you liked it and enjoyed watching if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to come back on Wednesday for our next video see you then